Always when we're talking, we just chat in a way that we hear these growls and noises in here. Well, come on out and check it out for yourself. I mean, this is a really cool place. Um, people that love hiking, there are trails all throughout here. Um, but definitely make sure you check out this peat bog and not just the summit. So, if you'll notice up here, I talked about earlier at the other platform that any number of these trees could be Bigfoot structures. Now that's got to be 12 feet off the ground and it's too thick to be the top of that tree. There's no other trees around it uh, that tall and that could definitely be a squatch structure, Bigfoot structure. through here and if I had to guess probably eaten uh, this alder bark which hazel looks like maybe an alder and some of the some of the living sphagnum there you go a little bird I couldn't identify it um, but we got this here which could easily be a structure appears to be bent over and on top of that tree I can't explain that that almost looks like a, again, and I think these are markers of direction, like down here, you know? I'd say that's 12 to 14 feet off the ground. I'm going to be in there. It's a nice day, unfortunately, you know, on a nice day you can have a lot of traffic. What appears to be another tree from the podium, the platform over here, is in fact definitely a twisted branch. You 
can't see it from there, but it's coming down. And then there's another one twisted. I mean, that thing is twisted around almost twice. I'm not going to go in there anymore. I'm losing line of sight with my camera first. All right, so the camera person braved the bog, and you don't have to worry too much. This is solid. It's not very deep anyway, um, but you could see the twist up there. And I'm eight feet tall, and I reach up another three feet. That's eleven feet, and I twist that thing around. Yeah, that one looks manipulated like that way. Let's go in there now that you're in. We got our great uh, our dog with us. That's perfect for scaring cryptids away. I mean, definitely we're going where people don't go in Connecticut. It is so cool in here. You would not be able to come in here if this was thawed out. You'd be up to your, you'd be pretty deep in mud, covered probably in ticks and mosquitoes. Um, but there are animal droppings. There's not in groups, so I'm going to say rabbit. You saw rabbit tracks earlier. I just get the feeling of being watched in here. We are in the heart of this block. It's scary in here. <laughs> oh, good. Wow, that's a... Uh, that's moose droppings. That's not deer, that's moose. It's too hard for the tracks. But there you have it, Connecticut. Moose droppings right there. If you want, we'll freeze them for you and ship them to you. There's probably more. You can see them. They look like they look like chocolate Easter eggs. I would not recommend eating them, but if you want them, we know where to get them. You send us $99.99 and I will ship you some Connecticut moose droppings from the heart of the black spruce bog in Mohawk Mountain. It is just incredible in here. Tourists don't come back. People don't even. I don't even think hunters come back here. There's something out here. having this guy this dog with you is when you want to go check out tracks he gets ahead of you 
um, it's really hard to tell right now. Even our own track is not. Which way back camera for a second? Nope. That way. Keep your bearings when you're out there. Moose. Now moose will. They will eat. They love aquatic vegetation. And this pond, this Mohawk pond is here. Oh, there's a lot of people there, but this, there's nobody in here. I honestly can't tell the fallen trees from the flat structures. He's drinking. <laughs> He's on the drinking hole. I would not recommend a human drinking this water. It's going to be very acidic and full of tannic acid um, from the decomposing vegetation here. But you can see, I mean, this is, this is really, I mean, I mean, we are in somewhere where people do not go. So yeah, we are just somewhere people just do not get back in here. It's inaccessible, except for like when it's this frozen and I would imagine we haven't been up here they they probably close the mountain down when there's snow we just happen to be at that ideal time everywhere you want to talk about little people I mean there are just all kinds of tunnels underneath here and great cover look at the trees just poured through with woodpecker holes a little further in there but we're getting footage, man. I mean, we're in the heart of it. And you could just see for yourself. There's obviously moose in here. Rabbit. Right here, you can see the living. And then you can see when it starts to decay a little bit, that's the classic russet brown color, but there it is, lively green, fully living, slowly decomposing this uh, white pine. Oh, remember, let's do it, right? Look at this gorgeous thank you tree. Pine is edible. It's good for your stomach. And if you want that, yes it is, you want some camera, it's fresh. Look at that, that is fresh organic pine. I will send you some if you're feeling you know a little down or you don't have vitamins that's got five times the vitamin c of an orange right there and i suggest that you know these animals are definitely going to be in here when there's nothing left they're going to eat this let's see how piney it is a lot of fiber you know so, yeah, mm, mm, oh. Mm, oh that is That is real. I couldn't even. That is definitely spruce because it's sharp. Mm. Are you sure you want to try some? Can you smell it? That'll freshen your breath. If you want that fine, fresh flavor, you know, why do you always want mint? Come out and chew on it. I'm going to have some at Paracon. You know, for you people, you want to taste it? We're going to get some nice pine samples. And you can try it. You're going to have to sign a medical waiver. The dog doesn't want anything to do with it. All right, camera person. we got a lunch pack today in here. we got sandwiches, juice, even some chocolate. It'd be nice if they had a picnic table right in here, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, oh, that's nice. Little dog here thrown in for good measure. <coughs> Game of persons, you're saying that's the way out? No, it's that way. How do I know? Because we came straight in and we're going straight back out. Let's find our footprints. Um, but hey, come in. if you can get out here in the next couple days, come into the heart of this bog and try some fresh pine. Find some moose and rabbit droppings. 
how cool is that? I mean, uh, it could be fairly fresh. I mean, all right, we're gonna cut it, and uh, we'll see you back at the uh, back at the platform where we belong. Come on, let's see if we can get out of here. Let's let's backtrack. I don't know if you can see the little tree buds, and I could only guess at what kind of tree this is, but that's they're gonna eat that, and the animal's gonna. Um, deer and whatnot. Rabbits are going to eat that. Squirrels. We saw a little red squirrel in here. This is this you could get lost in here, real easy. And there are so many twisted, gnarly trees here. It's awesome. You sure you don't want some pine? So um, while we were in there filming. Um, we came back and previewed some of the footage, and we had a complete blackout. The camera, it was recording audio, but it just the film, it stopped filming. Very cool. We'll see you out there.